Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore and this is Labyrinth of Toho 2. So, uh, with the bosses, me getting the bosses mixed up, I now know what the boss waiting, uh, blocking the stairs is. Um, I guess just to talk about Xanadu for a bit, um, pretty much the easiest trick to go for is um, there's uh, certain HP limits where she will do the, uh, the concentrate and then follow it up with, with that one shot kill. Um, Obviously her defenses go way up when she's charging up, but um, it does eat up her pretty much her entire ATB bar after she does the attack as well. So you kind of have those opportunities that if you're strong enough you can chip away at her while in her charge up mode and then afterwards, or use that opportunity just to buff up and then follow it up with a bunch of attacks. And then of course, since it's a one shot kill, you can pretty much just swap in whoever you want to just tank the hit and uh, go from there. Since she was uh, heavily resistant to dark, I, that's why I swapped in Flandra to take the hit instead. Um, but the trick is, is if you can do enough damage to hit her next threshold by the time she finishes her first one, um, she her next action will just be to concentrate again and repeat the process over and over again. Um, so for us, we were able to do enough damage where we were able to just skip phases because we're just that strong at this point. Anyway. With that in mind, I believe we got some stuff to do. Alright, level 66 required. We're floating around level 55. Um, I did sell a few more things, or I crafted and sold a few more things. Um, got Yuka's magic up a little bit higher. And uh, we're just going to go from there. Our average level... It's like upper 60s at this point so yeah we're probably a little still a little ahead of the curve which is fine all right here goes nothing hmm hmm yukari what you doing here actually the answer is obvious huh oh my yukari good day it's been it's been a while is that really all you have to say this is why i told you to be careful of the pits around aha <laughs> i really should have been i was really worried about how i would fare alone then so you ended up joining Rambo's group. Ah, uh, don't sound so harsh. She, uh, you should come along as well. At this point, I'm sure even you are finding it difficult to strike it out alone. Honestly, why are you so reluctant to ask others for help? Oh, hush. We don't have any problems with you coming along uh, with us, Yukari. At this point, it's way too dangerous to explore alone. Let's all go together. Ugh. I suppose I shouldn't be stubborn at this point. We must seize the Amai no Murakuma before it becomes uh, truly dangerous as well. I suppose I shall have to join in. After you fulfill my condition, that is. Yeah, yeah, we gotta beat you first, right? You all are like an open book about this kind of thing. My, you catch on quickly. I, an opportunity like this doesn't come often, so we should allow everyone the chance to let off some steam. I do wish you could learn to find some other ways to have all of us let off some steam without picking fights with all of us. You can treat it as a test. If you cannot beat me, defeating the Amai no Murakuma would be like a dream within a dream. Now, prepare yourselves. Jeez, why does everyone love the fight so much? Hello, Yukart. Oh my god, I have the wrong formation. <laughs> well, easy way to fix this. Oh, uh, I completely forgot to set my formation for this fight. Okay, can you please just kill us? Thank you. So yeah, I forgot to I forgot to set my formation. I was in uh, I was in uh, grind mode still. Uh, for this one, this should be fine. Now I don't remember exactly how she d goes. Um, I think in both this game and the previous game I ended up just exploding her with a highly buffed character that had nature damage because she is vulnerable to nature. I think she has some gimmicks where if he, if she gets too low on debuff she ends up buffing herself again and then she can immediately hit, uh, act again. But I don't really remember. So how do we do on the test? All right. Speed everyone up. 
So yeah, with that ribbon, I don't have to worry about any of that anymore, which is nice. Normal, 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 weak, and, and super resistant. Oh yes, my MP uh, costs are now double because of the um, gambler skill. So take that for what you will. What's the easiest way to do this? I'm cons I'm, not, I'm not sure if Rayson could take a hit. That's the thing I'm concerned about most. One way to find out. Oh good, one hit point. We'll maximize our defense as much as we can. So yeah, that attack will always reduce you to 1 HP. There's not much you can do about it. So I could do Gasp of an Orb, but the scaling for that is not exactly great. Huh. So she did Spiriting Orb. Oh, I see what she did. She, um, she turned the debuffs into buffs. See what we can make happen here. I am curious. Yes, it works. Okay, that hurt. So yeah, dis okay, it dispels the uh, the debuffs, and then she immediately acts again. And once she hits certain thresholds, of course, she gets uh, a bit angrier. Super scope or extending arm? I'm gonna do super scope. Alright, she's at half HP, which means she's probably gonna do her thing now. Or that, apparently. Okay. I do believe she has some attacks that are classified as composite. Nice proc. Holy cow. Yay for extra action. Let's go ahead and maximize you so I can get another action. Alright, this will be our last shot. Well, here goes nothing. I don't know what the scaling is for reflowering. There we go. We skipped all of her mechanics. So yeah, um, at certain thresholds she will do a spell that essentially reduces everyone's MP to zero. And that makes things a bit more difficult because I think our party actually doesn't have very good MP uh, recovery rates. So it would take a while for us to actually get ourselves back into a state to actually, you know, win. Or be able to actually attack again. Uh, but yeah, having uh, 
was it a triple proc of uh, extra action definitely made up for the fact that I mean that was the only time we had extra action actually proc all the previous times it failed so it kind of made up it kind of made up for itself but yeah that was a that was some good damage and a nice showing by Yuka Ugh, ugh. I remember when you were having such a hard time with that fodder monster on the third floor. I would have never imagined that I would be defeated by that very same group. When you meet someone you, you have not met for three days, you should see her with a new eye or something like that. This great tree has been like our second home recently. We're used to this kind of thing by now. Do you feel satisfied enough now, Yukari? Indeed. You, you'll hear no more selfishness from me. I will follow your group uh, from now on. Ah, uh, uh, that was really tiring. My, it's a little early for that. This is when the pursuit of the Divine Sword truly begins. Humph. Let's do our best, hmm? Yukari Yakumo has joined the party. Alright, so... Uh, at this point, this is pretty much all the characters we're going to get for a while, I believe. Um, I think the remaining characters of the base game are not available until the post-game content. Um, I did go and take a look at my previous playthrough and see how much playtime there was, because um, obviously I was not purposely running the clock or anything like that. Um, and I was only, I think it was, it was around 70 hours playtime showing when I was doing the final bit of the post-game content. Um, so that could probably, I guess, give you an idea of the scale that is uh, going to be the uh, the plus disc when I, when we finally dive into that. So, get to look forward to that junk. Alright. Also, there's a bunch of new characters in the plus disc, which we can look forward to as well. Um, Yukari's really good. Um, she has an ability that can reset uh, everyone else's ATD bars. Um, which makes it so they can immediately act again. So, it's very good for like a blitz, uh, blitz strategy, where you have all your DPS come out at once. All of them blast their highest ATB cost abilities, and then Yukari follows up with... Um, spiriting away essentially and it'll refresh everybody for another volley um, the only catch is you really have to keep track of everyone's speed for it because if you have it if you have the speed set up incorrectly and yukari goes before the other characters it, it messes it up completely um, she does have some decent um, spells as well one of them actually uh, its strength is based off whether or not Ra uh, ran and chin are in the front row with her I think they still provide a bo bonus if they're in the party, but they provide a bigger bonus if they're in the front row with her, and it becomes pretty pretty devastating shot. She also has access to a um, a group wide uh, defense and mind buff that's pretty much on par, if not better, than uh, Reimu's. Um, so yeah, overall she's pretty good. Uh, she does synergize, of course, with the Yakumo clan, so Ran and Chen. Um, I did do some playthrough a, a little bit of them with just those three, and I think one flex pick. I don't remember who I picked. Um, she can be very bulky with all three characters, as can Ran. Obviously, Chen is just a glass cannon, no matter what. Um, but yeah, I uh, won't be playing with her this run. I think I used her in my uh, first playthrough, but I don't really remember. And also, I think she had composite attacks uh, for her AoEs, but I don't remember. I mean, most times you just use her as support, so you don't really need her to actually have um, MP. Hmm? The surroundings changed again. This time it's all rather dark, as if we... if at, Are we deep inside a forest, perhaps? No matter how thick the ve vegetation is, this amount of darkness is unexplainable by those means. Most likely, darkness is a part of this forest itself. Wonder if any zombies are going to pop up. At, the, at least this place is cooling. Compared to that sweltering forest of flames uh, we just had, I, I'd gladly uh, take on z uh, zombies or ghosts in return. No disagreements here. We have reached quite the lofty location at this point. Hmm, I guess we have. What about it? We're getting uh, we're getting close to heaven, and if Amai no Murakuma climbs just a little higher, if that sword's target is really the Dragon God, then we'll have a huge problem on our hands soon. The dragon is one of the most unique, uh, most powerful amongst its brethren, so it, I think it'll be okay, but when the opponent is the Amai no Murakuma, it's hard to say anything for sure. If, and this is a very much an if, the Amai no Murakuma manages to control the Dragon God, the Dragon God controls and governs all of Gensokyo. There will surely be a massive effect, uh, be massive effects on everything you can think of. Massive effects on everything we can think of? Like what? The first thing would be the balance of the five elements in the weather. 
Once that is shaken, it will influence the lifestyle and psychological state of huma humans and yokai. And when that happens, the already delicate balance between humans and yokai will start to collapse as well. It'll be like a pack of dom dominoes all falling down. Based on that, that this sounds like it could, uh, could get really, really bad. Indeed it could. It, that is why we need to pursue the Ame no Murakumo and catch up to it as fast as possible. In short... In short... We just keep going uh, up de uh, dedicatedly uh, as we have already uh, been all this while, right? Uh, it's so nice when things are this easy. If only it was uh, as easy to track worshippers and donations to the shrine. You're right in that we can only keep going up, but please avoid those kind of sum summar uh, summarizations. Hmm, you're always so laid back, Raymo. You're one to talk. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright. Now we're officially in uh, floor 16, and not in the death room with the death boss. Alright, so yeah, this place is all about portals. Now the question is... Who... Who can actually do damage on this floor? So yeah, this one is actually a, a straight up teleporter. Um, it could literally take you anywhere. Which could make uh, tracing your steps uh, a bit difficult. Alright, gelatin cube is a problem. Normal, resistant. Okay. Punch! Good, that works. Bad news is Sakia did die, um, so right now she's a bit low on stamina. But that's okay. Good. Good to see that Neri can still pull her, uh, pull her weight. Treasure chest key, alright. For those that are wondering, there are 20 floors in the base game. So we are definitely on our way. And I do believe, I'm pretty certain that we don't have, we're not going to get any more new characters until the um, post-game content. Whatever that thing was, it was resistant to uh, to cold, but could, couldn't survive anyway, so that's good. Uh, let's actually tag you out, Sakia. Actually, now we do kind of need you. For gelatins. So I'm going to do my best to not tag the space in front of the teleporter. That way I know I haven't used it yet. Oh wow, big wave cannon. Also, I haven't been looking at the, uh, the loot we've been picking up. I probably should be doing that a bit more. But from the looks of it, I don't think we've been getting anything new. Yeah, it really doesn't look like it. Alright. So that's everything here. We do have that bottom left corner we need to do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. Alright. Swap in 
I don't know if Raisin will do well or not here, but we don't really have that many options at this point, so... Could try to do sweeps with a Flandra, but that is, uh... That's a problem. So yeah, this should be... Yeah, that takes us back to where we were. Got it. Alright. So let's pick a portal and go through it. Didn't do any damage, but uh, that was still pretty scary. Alright, so that spell's not strong enough. Alright. So yeah, I think there's a percent chance uh, uh, every turn that you have Terra that you can lose MP. Sura Blade. sense. Okay, that did poison. Okay, shock. Alright, Patch only took a little bit of poison damage, unfortunately. Yeah, we don't have any good viable candidates right now, which kind of sucks. I mean, one thing we can do is try to buff up Sonei's magic a bit so she can provide some support as well. She does have access to Spirit Element, which I think will be okay against most of these enemies. But it's hard to say. Yeah, there's something ready. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Alright. Yeah, even Patcholi can't, uh... ...breach those defenses. Alright. Ryson's kind of at our limit. Should I try Yuka? Wandra is also an option, but I don't know if she can actually pull it off. I mean, there's. I mean, if we we're gonna do a Flandra, it would be it would be preferably by herself. So far, so good. That's where we came from, right? Yep, that is where we, where we came from. Tony won 40 money. I'm wondering if that Terra Eater just, just does extra damage if you happen to be uh, 
afflicted with uh, terror. Kind of similar to Parsi's ability. Yeah, the resistance in nature, so Yuka is not the best option. I do have wind element, so I guess I can try that instead. Not sure how well it'll do though. Alright, that was one way. Special item Diva's Proof. So I believe that is the... Um, yep, so this gets us the Diva class. Um, this subclass uh, kind of has some ATB bar manipulation type stuff. Uh, I don't think I've ever used that subclass. I don't intend on, I don't intend on changing that. Alright, well, easy enough to solve here. Puts us into another one-way uh, section. Yeah, vulnerable spirit. Bad. So it does okay damage. Alright, we'll have to come back to that. Mushroom, mushroom. Also, I think that Floral Scent is training MP, but I'm not entirely certain. What's this? Mysterious mirage-like distortion, a distorted space stood in the path of, in the path ahead of Rainbow's group. What's this supposed to be? A mirage? Some kind of magic? A barrier? A hallucination? None of the above, I'm afraid. It's a distortion in space. A distortion in space? The heck is that supposed to be? Can we go through it? If you try to go through this severely unstable space, you'll come out in several pieces. Want to give it a try? Gah, seriously? Now that's scary. Not gonna touch it. Don't want to be cursed by some evil god or something. Is it difficult to get rid of? Uh, oh. Is it difficult to get rid of it? Hmm. With the way this space is twisted, I'm able to link spaces together by manipulating boundaries, but I'm not well versed in manipulation of space itself. I doubt anyone is. Uh, oh well. If you say it's impossible, there's not much we can do. Let's leave it this for later. So yeah, I believe this is only accessible um, through the post-game content. Also, I believe, uh, so, not Satori. I think there's one character that actually does manipulate space. So yeah, that fire spell is actually a little scary because Yuka is not exactly uh, friendly with fire. Uh, Suika. I believe Suika manipulates space. But I already know why that's not gonna matter. Strobel Bracelet, Okie dokie. Alright. We're actually covering a decent amount of ground for coming out of a boss fight.
Oh, I didn't expect to follow up. All right. All right, Yuka, you are out of juice. All right, let's tag in you guys for now. Kalaris Crystal, which is pretty low tier at this point. But it can be sold for money. So that's everything here. Alright, we're gonna try this spot next. All right, that takes us to the beginning. Okay, cool. So that at least loops, which is good. That also loops. Okay. That actually narrows it down quite a bit. Yeah, we only have three gates we haven't gone through yet. Our mages. There's a boss down there. If we can hit a checkpoint, that would be great. Hey, there it is. See if we can, uh... You know what? I'll go ahead and call it here. I am Deed Rusty, or this is Labyrinth of Toho 2. I'll see you guys in a bit.